Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed of a from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. A platform, a structure that gives you visibility for the sake of expression. Number four. You must trust God to understand the dynamics that is responsible for accessing resources, human and material resources. And number five, you must stay until something from heaven lands on your life. The backing from heaven. Moses said, if your presence will not go with us, hear me, if your presence will not go with us, don't say I'm a preacher, you are entering a land where witchcraft has been there for a long time and the only thing you came to give them is just stories. You are joking. See, with all due respect, there are many missionaries that traveled to regions, they just carried Bibles and carried malaria drugs without power. As soon as they got there, some of them did not even wake up the next day because we are dealing with spirits. It takes more than welfare to transform people. We are talking of people who have been hijacked and kept as slaves under the bondage of Satan. And you know in the body of Christ there is a lot of gyration. We talk so much. You will, the, the amount of power that sometimes those... I desire the power of the Holy Spirit sincerely. That's what drove me to Reinhard Bonke's crusade. Even after my encounter with God, I said, Lord, that evangelistic power that grants a man grace to come to Africa from Germany and sweep across Africa, that grace, when it landed, I said, that's right. Let me submit to you, hear me? With all due respect, if I speak at this level and by the grace of God, I don't think I'm speaking in pride. We don't have everything, but there are some things we have. Let me counsel my generation. Please obtain grace from God to go back to the secret place. Our noise without power is too much. We are only going to embarrass ourselves. This is not how we started. I believe that there is a generation that is rising. They are not yet known. There are people hiding in the secret place. I'm building capacity men who will be like gods men who will not talk about power they will demonstrate the reality of the power of the Holy Spirit you will see healings like never before you will see resurrections like never before power that will win a whole nation in one day Let your power fall in this place. Let your healing come in this place. We ask for signs and wonders in this place. Let your power flow. In one minute, lay your hands on your head and say, Lord, I'm available. As, as you are empowering men with this end time mantle, Father, do not pass me by. Do not pass me by.
how can I run an apostolic ministry without genuine empowerment from heaven? A prophetic ministry without genuine empowerment. A Joseph ministry of economic influence and leadership without empowerment. How can I rise as an Esther without empowerment? Hallelujah. 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 So hear me, please. You see, what makes a chef a chef is not just the ingredients is the combination you can be given the same ingredient that a chef uses and you will cook something that you are not even but that that guy has mastered the art of combining it and it takes training and it takes time i counsel again my precious dear generation let us manage premature manifestations we are saying and doing many things that are clearly bigger than our level of grace. We need to obtain grace and stay and come out again with power refreshed, power to demonstrate the validity of the kingdom. Are we together? When God started with us, there were certain things we knew that they were beyond the limit of the power available at that time. The Bible says to minister according to the measure of grace. You want to speak over people's lives and shift spiritual climate. Can I tell you? You know, when some of you here are pilots and there's what they call flight hours to determine whether a pilot before he becomes, um, before he becomes, what's, what's the highest position now? A captain. You don't become a captain just because you graduated from flight school no you must have flight hours in fact for others they have to travel to other nations and fly using their weather and have certain levels of experience before you now move to become a captain when they say someone is a captain and you are flying a plane when he sees certain things whether a a, a, a change in atmospheric conditions he's already used to it he knows what to do with that plane the passengers are safe because they know he's there it is a risk for certain people to fly to certain altitudes or under certain kinds of climatic conditions it takes more than preaching to truly be a blessing you are going to have to obtain grace from God I have prayed and I continue to pray that God will keep heaping coals upon coals of fire upon my life as far as I'm concerned, I have not gone close to where God I, I desire. I know what God has shown me. Sometimes I catch myself rebuking myself and say, Joshua Selman, you are too slow. Keep moving. There are heights. Dimensions in the spirit. You want power with God? You must master the art and the dynamics of prayer. You must master the art and listen, let me tell you. If you do not know how to stretch your spirit man, forget about power. For as long as the vessel was small, the oil looked like the vessel. You must enlarge capacity in the spirit. I have taught you here that authority and power in the kingdom are in levels. The least level of authority is authority over things. Then you graduate with God and he grants you authority over nations and regions. The highest level of spiritual authority is authority over God's program. He, he, his, blue, his prophetic blueprint, he puts you in charge of it by grace. Things, nations, his program. Are we together listen to me if this is all we do tonight I want to challenge somebody hear me this can't be it 
God is so much bigger than this. Hear me, apostle and prophet. No, this is what not, not what the generation has been praying for. This thing we are bringing now that we are bragging is not yet it. Thank God for where we have gotten to. But I submit to you, this is not the mantle that will bring that revival. This generation will need more. Need more. Greater signs. Dimensions of wonder by the Spirit. He's calling us deeper. Deeper. This is a prophetic message for someone God is saying you left off the training I started with you by now we would have gone far in the school of the spirit but when God started as soon as you started getting invitations you graduated yourself from the school of the spirit and now you can see several things you should have learned you have not learned several dynamics in the spirit you should have known no. you see in the secular you can jump classes and read up and write an exam but in the school of the spirit any class you miss even if it's after 10 years you must come back for that lecture again just because you started seeing and you started hearing did not give you the credence to start prophesying the prophetic realm is a delicate and a complicated realm that takes mastery to be able to handle the speakings of the spirit Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. I've shared with you here, sit down please, please sit down. I've shared with you my vision of many years when God Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.